hello everyone let us say that we have two points and we'll have to find the distance between these two points how do we go about measuring the distance between these two points what we normally do is just connect the two points join the two points and measure the length of this line segment so formed so if a is one point and b is the other the distance between the two points would be the length of this line segment ab right and now the point which we are going to discuss in this video is distance between a point and a line so say that we have a point here uh, let me call this o now how do we find the distance between o and this line segment ab now what if i take consider this point and measure the distance between these two and say that this is the distance between the point o and the line segment ab or what if i mark another point somewhere over here say that the line segment ab consists of many number of points infinitely many points right so any of the points can be considered to measure the distance but what would happen if we do it in such a fashion the distance would differ depending on the point which is taken on the line segment ab the distance would keep differing right so what if you drop a perpendicular from o to ab to the line segment ab and measure that distance so let me call oc is the perpendicular let's say oc is perpendicular to ab and what if we say that oc is the distance between the point o and the line segment ab and this would be the same for all distances and for any line segment and any point anywhere uh, outside the line segment if we just drop a perpendicular that would be the distance between the line segment and the point right and this would be a standardized measure of measuring distances a standardized way of measuring distances and this is how we define distance between a point and a line just drop a perpendicular from the point to the line if the line falls short just extend it because it's after all a ray it can be extended on both sides and then measure the distance so we have defined the distance between the distance between a point and a line and this is the shortest distance which happens to be the perpendicular the perpendicular is the shortest distance to the line segment we are saying that this is the shortest distance we are saying that this distance the perpendicular distance to the line segment is the shortest distance and intuitively also we can justify ourselves that this has to be the shortest distance because any other line drawn would be longer than uh, that particular distance which is measured by drawing a perpendicular but how do we prove it formally sometimes we'll have to prove certain things formally though by intuition we know that this is the correct thing so how do we go about proving it formally so let me do the formal proof uh, to argue that distance between a point and a line is its perpendicular and that is the shortest distance so let me consider a line here and a point outside so this is the perpendicular let me call it oa perpendicular to this line and let me take any other point apart from the perpendicular and say that this is oa dash now i'll have to prove that oa is the shortest distance to this particular line segment so let me call it cd i'll have to prove that oa is the shortest distance or i'll have to prove that the length of oa is lesser than the length of oa dash now by doing so we have formed a triangle oaa dash right and we formed a right angle triangle oaa dash so we can apply the pythagoras theorem in this right angle triangle which would be the square of the hypotenuse oa dash square 
would be equal to OA square plus AA dash square. Now what does this statement say? All of us know that this statement is right because this is the Pythagoras theorem and it is applicable to all right angle triangles. But what does the statement say now? We will have to prove this and we will have to observe the statement for that purpose. We have the square of some number which is a positive uh, measure. This the length is of course positive and whatever it is the square of the length is going to be positive so this side we have positive and this is also positive right all of them are positive so we have concluded that o dash or o a dash right sorry it's o a dash it's not o dash a we have observed that o a dash square is greater than o a square right and both sides being positive we can and since we are talking about distances which is also going to be positive we can conclude that o a dash is greater than o a and that is what we wanted to prove right o a dash is greater than o a we have proved and what have we proved we have proved that the distance between a point and a line would be the shortest when we measure the perpendicular. When we make a perpendicular 90 degree line uh, to that particular line segment and measure it. 